coming to you live from our studio here at MS24. Welcome to MX Breaks. My name is Kwabena. I'm your coming up ICOMS Breaks in 11.5 billion cities to the government in 2020. Also coming up, IMF warns nations against early withdrawal of pandemic recovery measures. Now to the details. Chairman of ICOMS implementation team, Emmanuel A.C. O'Hane, says the integrated custom management system raked in 11.5 billion cities to the government in 2020. Speaking at the International Customs Day celebration, Emmanuel O'Hane underscored the crucial role of ICOMS in achieving government target revenue. He also hinted on plans to improve trade facilitation and reduce human interaction in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. Management system in the year 2020 from its inception was able to rake in close to 11.5 billion for the government in 2020. In the face of the second wave, we have um, developed and are in the process of um, introducing new facilities and new ways of conducting business, which will ensure that we reduce the physical contact. And one of such, which you know is for the second phase of the deployment, is to ensure that we can introduce the authorized economic operators module, which gives priority to compliant traders to clear their goods without any customs intervention. We also have in mind to deploy the second phase, what you know as the A, um, API, the passenger, advanced passenger information systems, which is going to be in collaboration with the airport authorities and all other security and stakeholders who operate at the airports to make available information and data on incoming passengers and their cargo so that we can facilitate fast clearance of goods at the airports and also profile passengers who pose high risk in any form or contact. The last is the introduction of um, an electronic wallet that will ensure that when you have made an overpayment, the overpayment can be credited to your e-wallet so that in the event you have another consignment coming in, you'll be in a position to benefit from the overpayment that is being kept on the e-wallet. Now away from that co-founder of SCDOL event, SCNAM Afisiadi has advised young entrepreneurs who wish to join the event organization business to build a network of clients who can afford their services. According to the co-founder, a wide network base of potential clients is paramount as far as the success of event organization business is concerned. She added that consistency is key in order to break through in the industry. SNM Afi Siadi was speaking on Spotlight Business on MS24. Any sector, any occupation, anything can be lucrative depending on how you go about it. It also depends largely on your consumer base or your circle of consumption. Yeah. So, yeah. for instance, you, you find yourself in a very cool circle where a lot of people can be able to afford certain services that you can offer or your network base is quite strong and solid enough to push towards your side some lucrative event. Of course, um, even, even how lucrative it is is, is, is very wavering on, on consistency. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, I would say that it's, it's a good venture if you are able to find your niche. That is what a lot of people do not understand. I feel everybody has a space to tap into in, okay. in, in the sector. Um, you would get somebody who can offer you a 50,000 Ghana City event. Same way you can, off, you can get somebody who can offer you a 5,000 CD kind of event. Now, speaking on the same show, CEO of Event Guide and Ghana Events Awards, Kelvin Kennett, has debunked claims that events organization business promotes extravagance. Now, according to Kelvin Kennett, the business operates based on demands of the client, adding that there are various packages depending on the income of the client. I don't know why they see events, yeah. Ghana events, as that's why um, the, the government is not taking some part of our industry not serious, yeah. you know, because of the way they think or this, the, the way they are seeing things. I mean, um, looking at even Ghana Club 100, for instance, is a very corporate and a very serious and business um, yeah. uh, award scheme. Um, if looking at their setup and the way they've done their, their things, I mean, it's a lucrative. The amount that was mentioned was a lot. 
and then can, can, can do a lot. Uh, because they know what goes into it. And the, the kind of setup that, that was done, the best coordination, everything was done solid. I mean, it depends on the, it depends on, on the kind of event that you want. And then the audience, I, I really agree with you that it depends on your, on your target market. Okay. Who, who, who are you targeting? So if me, I'm an event organizer, then I, I decide to do only corporate events for, let me say, only MTN, Vodafone, or, I know my target. And they pay as well. So I know that, okay, this activation cost, will cost me this. I send the budget. They, they also approve. You just imagine, I can get enough money to, to do other things. If you decide to do only kids party, now, the kids right now, kids party <laughs> right now is, is uh, I tell you the kind of budget that a friend did. And she came to show to me and I would be like, wow, kids party for just 20. Yeah. A two-year-old boy. Wow. I'm serious. And then the kind of artists that came on board, the kind of musicians <laughs> that, was, that was there. I mean, they, they flew some artists from even outside Ghana to come for two year boy, you know. So, I mean, it depends the target. Okay. You, see, you see, it depends your, client, your clientele. Now, away from that, the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, has revealed that early withdrawal of COVID-19 pandemic measures in developing countries will result in severe bankruptcy in these countries. The Britain Rules Institution noted that the withdrawal will further worsen on the level of non-performing loans in these developing countries. Now, the fund is therefore recommending to countries to restructure their banking system to enable them to use out-of-court settlement to address the issue of rising non-performing loans. Geta Gopinak is the Economic Council and Director at Research Department of IMF. When pandemic measures are withdrawn, we are likely to see an increase in bankruptcies, which could have an impact on fragile banking systems. And therefore, it's very important to prepare now to have uh, special out-of-court restructuring frameworks to deal with uh, the, pro the problem of rising non-performing loans in uh, many countries. Now, because of this crisis, fiscal spending was needed. That increase in fiscal spending alongside the output collapse has raised debt levels to record highs in many countries. The fact that we have low interest rates and because we have growth now coming back in 2021, that should help stabilize debt levels in many countries. But it is very important for all countries to have medium-term fiscal frameworks that ensure the debt remains sustainable. Lastly, the international community needs to do more to help poorer nations. Now, the dramatic easing of monetary policy by major central banks have certainly helped by easing financial conditions for several developing countries. But there are others that are more severely constrained, and they will need help from the international community in the form of grants, concessional aid, debt relief, and in some cases, outright debt restructuring. It's time to look at the performance of the city against the major trading currencies. We begin with the US dollar selling at 5 CD 76 pesos. Of course, with the 0 0.01 differential for the buying price at 5 CD 75 pesos. The pound sterling pegged at 7 CD 91 pesos. The Japanese yen selling for 5 pesos. Let's shift focus to the commodities market. Gold selling at $1,840 per ounce, with cocoa pegged at $2,574 per metric ton. Of course, crude prices leveled at $55. Per barrel. These are the figures for those within the financial sector. That's it for MS Breaks. My name is Kwabna. I'm your keep watching MS24.